Good morning everyone. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> uh, welcome to a new vlog. I'm just going to turn this exposure down a little bit because it's a little bit bright. Um, I thought I would vlog today for no other reason than I kind of felt like it and I feel like uh, the last few videos have been quite product heavy uh, because I've done my top 10 colour gels and then we've had like the new release from my elegance and although you guys love those videos they are always the ones that do the best on my channel um i did have comments on the previous vlog that you wanted to see more so i thought we'd break it up with another vlog and the time now is i think 11. Uh, i've already got up i've done some admin i've done my workout had a shower washed my hair which is why i look like this um taken Winnie for a walk, been to the shop. <laughs> so I've already done quite a bit this morning um, and I'm just gonna get ready while I kind of have a chat and catch up with you guys. So today, like I say, is Tuesday and I am gonna be getting myself ready for tonight's nail social. Uh, if you don't know what my nail socials are, I started them during the lockdown number three uh, in the UK. So I started them um, maybe February, I think, um, or March, um, just because I could see and feel that a lot of people were feeling quite stressed out and feeling quite down and almost losing the love for what they do as in nails so i thought we could kind of boost everyone's mood and just kind of get everybody inspired again feeling a bit more positive and that was really the idea with the nail socials so i started doing them more or less weekly and then now that most people are back to work uh, I'm now doing them roughly on a monthly basis. So if you haven't seen any of them, um, they are all saved on my Instagram. You can go on there anytime. And we also have a Facebook group, um, which I'll leave linked down below. Um, I don't share the lives in there, but what we do in there is um, just, you know, you can post in there really about whatever you want, but the main thing that we use that for is for voting for what you want to see in the nail social. So every nail social, I basically do my version of a set that somebody has seen that they have felt inspired by. And I do my own version of it during the nail social while we have a chat and a catch up. And we talk about more than just nails so it's just a bit of a chat and a catch up really so tonight i'm looking forward to because it's the first one since um people have been able to start going back to work so i'm really keen to like catch up with everybody and see how everyone's doing how they're enjoying it what it's been like um because of course now i don't do client work i don't have any of that kind of life has just carried on as normal for me so yes I'm looking forward to that tonight I've also got some other jobs to do today uh, if you follow me on Instagram and you follow my stories um, you may be aware that I've had some technical difficulties <laughs> um, or if you were on the last live class which was my mini French class please excuse the lighting the sun is just doing whatever it wants so uh it's going to go light and dark because the clouds keep covering the sun but anyway so my mini french class was last wednesday and <laughs> if you've been on any of my classes before or you may have heard me talk about them before and know how they work the way that i've always done it like since last i think the first online masterclass i did was like end of april last year if i remember rightly and I've always done it the same way. I create a private Facebook group. Everyone who signs up, they get added to the Facebook group and then I go live 
within the Facebook group. I then download the video so that I can put the recording up for sale on my website and I save it to the group so that everybody who has joined live can watch back whenever they want. They can also ask questions in the group, etc. So that's the way that I've always done it. And I was all ready to go last Wednesday and didn't even think to check like whether the live feature on Facebook was working because you know I've used it all the time. I'd been live on the Light Elegance Facebook page um, on like two days before that. So, you know, just cracked on as normal. And then we, and then when I actually logged on, so I went into the private Facebook group and discovered that the live feature is does not seem to be available anymore in Facebook groups. So I think they're trying to create more of like a, I don't know, like a, it, basically what's available now is something called Rooms, which is essentially a video call where you can see everybody's screens, but because it is more of a video call style and it's done through messenger so it basically is a video call the quality is terrible <laughs> it's awful so i set one up because i thought well i'm gonna have to do this because it's the seemingly the only way i can go live and the quality was terrible so then i'm in a panic what the hell am i going to do i've got people waiting for the class i now have no way of <laughs> going live and I'm literally sat there thinking am I just gonna have to cancel this class um then I had a brainwave that maybe I could do it on Instagram so I set up a private Instagram checked that the people who would signed up luckily it was a small class so it was easier to manage and I kind of had an inkling that the people who were signed up were people who have Instagram so I set up the Instagram account and gave everybody the handle because I'd made this private account, had to accept them into it and then started going live. Seemed to all be going well um, and to be honest I was actually thinking like maybe this is the way I should do it going forward. Like I, whenever I've done it before the quality hadn't been very good but actually the quality seemed much better so i thought yeah you know i could actually do this going forward <laughs> and then part way through and i i am aware because i got a few messages from people saying oh the instagram live is limited to an hour however if you have watched my nail socials you'll know we always generally go at least just over an hour if not to an hour and a half and they've never cut out because in October of last year, they rolled out four hour limits for Instagram lives. But it appears, now I realize, it appears that not all accounts have got that function of being able to go live for up to four hours. So my main account, I seem to have that function, but this private account, I guess, because it was new, it didn't have that function. So basically it cut out. The screen went blank. I had no option to be able to save it, to upload it to IGTV within that private account. So it was gone. Like that first hour was lost in cyberspace. <laughs> and I carried on, I just re-logged on, carried on the class. And then the following day, I basically had to sit and record it all again. <laughs> <laughs> so that I had it available because one of the people who signed up to the live didn't join us live which some people do that they just sign up so they can watch back anytime they've got the Facebook group access but yeah so I had to get that done and then obviously there were people waiting for it to go up on my website as a recording it, it was just a bit of a nightmare so I managed to record it the quality is so much better because I've actually done it on this camera rather than when I'm doing a live on Facebook I'm doing it through my phone the quality is so good and I've actually decided that's the way I'm going to do it going forward so what is going to happen that's a really long story but um I just wanted to update you on what's going on 
and update you on what's going to happen with the masterclasses going forward. So going forward, the masterclasses are going to be uh, recordings. Uh, I'm going to record them on my camera because the quality is so much better and I just think it looks a little bit more professional and then obviously I'll keep doing the the socials and that will keep me kind of interacting with people and I've also set up now uh just set that up today a Facebook group for the online masterclasses so basically anyone who signs up to an online masterclass they will have access to the class and they will have the ability to join the Facebook group um and that's where they can post photos for feedback they can ask questions um yeah so that's the way that i think i'm going to do it for the moment i did look at some other options of streaming but i felt like i was possibly over complicating things <laughs> um and i've had issues before with people not getting emails with links to things and I just didn't really want to have that worry of like every time someone signs up to a new class every couple of weeks that they wouldn't get the email with the link to the class so yeah that's my update on classes and it kind of leads me on to some bits that i need to do today so um first thing i need to do today is turn off the votes for tonight's social uh, I generally run the votes so that they stop at around um, midday, the day of the social. And then I need to set up an automated email that will go out when somebody buys an online masterclass um, so that they get a link to the Facebook group. I feel like I'm making this sound very complicated. It's really not. Uh, so yeah, I need to do that. I need to send an email blast out um, to invite people who have attended classes before to join the main Facebook group and also let them know about the new mini French class that's gone up with the brilliant quality and how classes will work going forward. And I also want to create a mini teaser video for my mini French so that people can see the quality of that video um, and understand you know the differences between the old and the new so that kind of brings you up to date yesterday I had another nightmare with technology but I'm not going to go into that um, basically I just had to clear off my laptop so um, I've got that all sorted now um, and if it's probably a good thing it just means I'll work a little bit uh, cleaner on my laptop from now um, I've, I'm one of them I get in a really bad habit of storing a lot on my laptop and I don't really know why I do that but um, yeah it will get me out of that habit so I am gonna just carry on getting ready and then I will catch up with you when I'm ready to start tackling my to-do list for the day. my technology woes continue <laughs> i don't know what is happening so uh i use squarespace for my uh website and i also use their email campaigns because i just think it's easy to just have it all in the one place but every time try and edit something 
There you go. Can you see that? There was a problem loading your email. So I'm just gonna have a look. I don't think that there are any limits on no, the number, I can't even find email marketing, there we go. I don't think there's any limits as to how many like automations you can have, but that is the only thing that's now running through my mind because basically for every class, there is an automated email which sends you your link with your password. And that is my only quandary now. Does it have email automation? It doesn't say that there is a limit, but let's just have a look in the help center and see. Automated campaigns, let's see what it says. Oh, automated campaigns count towards your monthly send limit. They don't count towards your monthly campaign limit. Okay, well, uh, it's definitely not to do with my limit on the number of emails because I'm at the beginning of my month. My month with Squarespace starts on the 25th, so that started on Sunday. Uh, and I've got like 45,000 emails left or something. So it's definitely not to do with that. So I wonder if Squarespace is just having like a funny five minutes. So I'm going to skip that. <laughs> The to-do list is going well so far, so I'm gonna skip that for a moment. I can move that to tomorrow. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna work on creating my like teaser video for my mini French. Um, let's hope that this works. happy that something actually worked that involved technology so I am just exporting that onto my external hard drive so that I don't clog my computer up again and um, then I will upload it to socials I might do that now I might do that shortly uh, and I've just realized it's 12 38 and I have not uh, tallied up the votes for tonight's nail social recreation so that is what I'm gonna do next so when I am tallying up the votes I do not do anything groundbreaking <laughs> uh, here are the three options that everybody had to vote on for this social so this like swirly design this one with like a shimmery fade and some stars and this one with the dot fade um, and basically what I do is I scroll down to the comments and I just literally <laughs> count up the votes for each one. <laughs> So I have counted the votes and uh, with 
the winner is oh i would help if i had got the picture up <laughs> the winner is this one here so that is what i am going to be doing kind of my creation i always say like i do my interpretation of it i'm not going to copy it exactly um like for me i wouldn't necessarily put like all of these colors together i like to keep designs like this more tonal should we say so i prefer it like with the light base and then like different tones of like greens and blues that's much more my style where if i was going to do like pink and orange i would do like a light pink base with um different tones of pink and orange so that is what i'm going to do like my interpretation of that is by the original is by mh nail artist which i believe is an nail tech called michelle hillier i think her surname is so yeah that's what i'll be doing tonight that will have already happened of course by the time this goes live but you can watch it back uh by going to my igtv and it will be saved on there I am just in my, well, in our spare room where I have my nail desk um, and I just suddenly realised that I need to set up for tonight. <laughs> uh, what time is it? I think it's about like half two, three o'clock. Oh, there you go. It's much later than I thought. It's ten past three. Um, so I really need to crack on and get stuff ready for tonight. So this is the current state of my desk. Um, I probably will charge my KB Glow battery just to make sure that I am good to go. Um, and I generally always use Miss Iguana when it comes to my nail socials. It means that I can work on <laughs> a kind of real looking hand rather than just like on nail tips. So. Um, these that are on here at the moment are from my mini French class. So from the, the trailer that you saw, you will recognize these. So what I need to do is really just remove what's on the top surface. None of this is embedded in the layers of the gel. So it won't take long just to uh, buff to remove that from the tips and then i am going to pick out my colors for tonight i had a request for this design in p plus so i'm just gonna have a look these are all my p plus colors so i'm just gonna have a look and um just pick out the colors that i'm gonna use tonight um i don't know whether to go down the like these three look really nice together i don't know whether to go down like more of the pinky route or keep it true to myself <laughs> and go more down the like the lilac -y blues um sorry the greeny blues but we don't have so many so it might be quite tricky so i might go down like the corally pinky maybe those ones actually would look really nice together so i think i might go down that route it's not my typical color scheme but you know we're trying to wish summer along it is still pretty cold here <laughs> considering we're in spring so yeah let's like cheer everybody up get everyone in, in the spring mood um so i'll just get these out so that they're ready but it means that i don't need to like buff down the thickness or anything here because it's just p plus going on the top of and on here i've just got jimmy gel so it should work pretty well lazy i didn't get my extractor out but it wasn't loads of filing i have my new colors and i'm just gonna pull out i basically keep the ones that i'm using like underneath here i need to get rid of all this i need to move all of this this is all again from the mini french class so i need to put all of that away i'm just gonna grab out so like the coral Fuchsia Fantasy Power Nap, 
and what is this one dream on so i think i'm going to use those i'm just having a quick look at the number of colors that she used she used one two three four colors that should work pretty well so i am just going to put those other bits away i am then it's half past three and what i like to do is have like an early dinner on the days where I have um, like these live socials. I was gonna say live classes, but I'm doing them differently now. So I'm actually gonna be recording those in the day, which will be um, quite nice. And it means the lighting will be even better because you've, I've also got some natural daylight coming in. Um, so when I do the socials, I like to have my dinner before because otherwise we finish at like seven, half seven. And then if I'm starting to make dinner, we don't end up eating until like eight o'clock and listen i am just hangry by that point it is not good for anyone <laughs> so i am going to finish getting all this sorted and then make dinner eat dinner and then i'll see you again just before i go on live and show you like my final setup and how i have everything ready to go for my nail socials somebody wrote a comment on a video this was a while back one in like a a day in the life how i plan my classes and obviously now the way that i do my classes is also different to what it was before um so let me know in the comments if you like these vlog style videos and if you would like one where i show you how i do my online classes and how i kind of plan it and get ready and and film it and all that kind of stuff so let me know but i will be back shortly just before i go live time is 10 to 6 and i'm just setting up my last little bits ready for the social tonight of course i have my red iguana hand i have all my colors underneath uh my kb glow i will pull forward so at the moment you can see it's set back that's just so that i can set up my phone here when i first go live so i can chat to you all face to face i have my airpods hopefully these will work this time when i went live on the light elegance facebook last week the airpods were not working properly but i think they needed charging i mean how ridiculous that i even forgot to do that but anyway so um i've got my gloves ready to go i do try and wear gloves whenever i'm doing anything with nails because i've had so many allergy problems previous to using light elegance but um sometimes they give a glare on the camera so we'll see how we go sometimes i end up taking them off halfway through but there we go we are all set up i've got my ipad so that i can see the comments i prefer to kind of have that set up with the comments so that i can just concentrate on what i'm doing here rather than trying to look at the comments like above me so i have that set up there I have my lamp ready to go and that is basically it the time is 5 53 i'm like ready to go that about brings us to the end of this vlog um i hope you enjoyed it please let me know if you have watched the social from tonight so tonight is nail social number five it will be the most recent one on my igtv um let me know what you think and um as i say i'll leave the group link down below as well so if you want to come and join the facebook group where we vote for the sets and things like that you can post your inspiration sets as well which i pick from the inspiration sets i pick the photos for um the voting come and join us there if you haven't already that brings us to the end of today's vlog i hope you've enjoyed just watching uh, me as i'm at home getting on with my work my normal kind of typical working day uh, let me know if you'd like to see more vlogs soon if you aren't subscribed already please do so i'd love to have you join thanks again so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye